What up? I'm Evan McKinnon, Toronto tattooer. Been tattooing since 2003, and I've loved wrestling my whole life. Dave Batista, the animal. Honestly, this wrestler himself, um, I can't stand. Um, and his tattoos are even worse than his persona to me. I find he's, he might be just one of those guys that got, saw the, the Goldberg tattoo and was like, I just want to be better than that. And just got a whole bunch of shit just on his body. But I just find he's a big mashup of different styles when it comes to putting one thing here and not really flowing with his body. Like even the, the tribal tattoos he does have, it just looks like they're not the greatest work. They're kind of hard to grow with his body because he is a really big guy. He, you know, was part of the evolution, this faction with Triple H, Randy Orton and Ric Flair. He was kind of like the muscle um, and like, with him and Randy Orton were like the future, while Triple H was the present at the time and Ric Flair was the history. And this last WrestleMania that was here, him and Triple H had, you know, a go at it. And like, you know, there was history behind the match, but the match itself was just so bad. So there was a bit of ring rust and just telling the story itself, it just, it just felt like it could have been better. Didn't really have to be told at all. He's got a couple heritage tattoos. Um, a lot of it's patchy, two flags on his left shoulder where he comes from. The kanji's on his arm right under it. Kanji's were massive, give or take, 19, 20 years ago. Whether it was, you know, the proper characters and actually what it was, uh, they, were, they were massive at one point in tattoo history. I've seen a lot better dragons than the one that's on Dave Batista's back. His back is so massive and it seems like he got the tattoo maybe before he was that big or he just maybe had an idea and wanted to expand on that eventually. But I don't think it was a well thought out piece. He also has like one of the weirdest, I think, tattoos around his navel. A, a tribal sun tattoo and my mentor told me years ago that tattooing around an able is like tattooing around an asshole it just it's it's such a weird area to tattoo there he looks more like a male porn star than uh, a scary wrestler yeah I, I find I could take him or leave him. I was never really a huge fan of Dave Batista. 